this one's a banger. Welcome to Triple E Groceries, where we triple our prices. Cut. It's supposed to be triple your savings. Oh, yeah, yeah. My, my fault, my fault, my fault. Welcome to Triple E Groceries, where we triple our savings. Cut, man, cut. It's supposed to be triple oh. the customer savings, not yours. <laughs> yeah, my fault. Welcome to Triple E Groceries, where we triple your savings. Well, now you just look like you're lying. Please do All right, it's time to lock back in. So first things first, I know y'all see my boy right here. We're just gonna name him, uh, we're gonna name him Philip. He's so hard at work, he won't even stop to say hello, but uh, I'm showing too much, I'm showing too much. Let me give y'all the new, hey! Man, I, is everybody texting while driving in this town? Like, I can't even, uh, oh no, nah, I know you up to no good. Let me watch out. But y'all, this is what's going on in the store now. We definitely grew a whole lot since the last time. So, uh, okay, before he was the only worker that we had. Now we have a whole nother one right here. We got like more shelves and all that good stuff. Some sodas, a whole refrigerator for that. We got some water, cheese, milk, eggs, etc. Like just, we loaded, man. We got freezers right here. This shelf is going to be for cleaning supplies and all that. And of course, now we have a huge like storage unit back here. So to be honest, y'all, I spent hours one day and I do mean hours just really working on the supermarket. We like level 21 now. So yeah, we doing big things. Now it's time to milk our customers for every single penny that they have in their bank accounts. <laughs> Because we reached like level 20, we can actually take out a professional loan now. So don't mind if I do. Let me get that 5,000 in the bank account. And with this money, I say that we just, we focus on getting some more licenses, right? And if it's one thing that I know people are going to buy, it's meat. So it's time to sell some meat today. Bro, you know what's so whack? I thought they would have a license available for me to sell steaks and stuff. All I can sell is like, like salmon and chicken but you know what we'll we'll get what we can get i won't even complain we still got like 2900 more dollars left we're not gonna expand the territory just yet we're gonna pay down some of these bills all right let's go to a different side of uh well different part of this computer or different application i, I, I sound old how am i mixing this up one thing this store absolutely needs <clears throat> and i mean really needs is some aisles, bro. So we're gonna get like six shelves. We still got like $1,500. I don't even know how I'm going to organize this, but I'm gonna just try my best, bro. That's that's literally what I'm gonna do. We're gonna put them like back to back, kinda. And actually, yeah, yeah, we do have enough space for this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Turn me up, bro. Turn me up. We doing big things in this store. All right, so we get this right here. Yeah, they right about just beside. Did you just run over my package? Stupid. You know what? Crack your windshield. Now what? All right, let me stop. Let me stop being ignorant. That's not good for business. <laughs> they go start complaining like, you know, the owner of that store just lashed out for no reason at me. You know, they're going to say it was for no reason, too, like they didn't just do what they did. Yeah, what is accountability? Am I right? All right, so here's what I'm thinking needs to be done. We're going to move these shelves over just a little bit because we're working with very, very limited space in the store right now. We, we got to get some more dinero in the account before we start doing too much. Um, I don't want to use like all the money in the loan. Like that's that's mainly what I'm getting at here, bro, because I just I don't feel like that's going to be the most beneficial for us to do. So we're going to get this here. Come on, bro. Let me place it. Let me place it. Let me place it. Thank you so much. All right. And y'all, we have our first aisle. It, it definitely looks weird. <laughs> it it don't really look right. Okay, we got to redo this. Hold on. I need a couple more shelves. They sitting outside like I just ordered them. But this actually don't even look too bad. This don't look too bad. I'm going to give y'all a lay of the land right after I place this down. Right here, right here, right here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. There we go. So see, it looks nice and organized. These are our aisles where people can shop at. Everybody has enough room to walk. I mean, that might get a little tight over there, but you know, it's 
Mm, it's not a pandemic anymore. We're not social distancing. They might just bump until they soulmate and fall in love, bro. You never know. I know I, I just spent like a lot of bread, but I know I'm gonna get it back because I do fully intend on taxing heavily. Absolutely, bro. Uh, money doesn't grow on trees and uh, <laughs> good prices don't belong in this store. Facts. Wait, what? I can't put these in the freezer? What was the point of buying a freezer then? Oh, that's a problem. I, whatever, I guess we'll just move the freezers over here. Now I got to buy more refrigerators. Why does it have to be like this when you're starting a business, man? Like all these random expenses. I didn't plan on doing this. We might just go broke. I ain't gonna lie. Cause that's like $750. Oh no. Oh no. I think I need another loan. <laughs> this isn't going to be enough money, man. And here I am thinking that I was doing so good. I had it all planned out. Now I'm just wondering what the freezer is even for. Like, what exactly are we planning to do? That's a lot of salmon that we can sell. Actually, you know what? We're going to make crazy money off that. Yeah, we're, 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 we're selling this salmon for about $30. <laughs> yep. Uh, we tax it. it. Which reminds me, some people in my comments was calling me a scammer. I'm a legitimate businessman. The motto of this store is if you're not smart with your wallet, why would I be? Speaking of being smart, we about to need another loan. Uh, oh no, I took out all the loans I can get. Oh, I can sell steak. Steak is right there. Yeah, we gonna get this meat inventory together. Now, what's the normal price for salmon? $10? Oh, you think you're about to get it for a steal, don't you? $17. What the hell? I was originally gonna do 30. You better be happy. And these for 357, huh? $8.99. Oh, we turning big profit today. Facts. Let's go ahead and open this store up. <laughs> we is not playing with them today. How much soda is even in this? It's only like four. I might as well just let this sit right here. All right, everybody, welcome inside. Come no customers? No customers? All right, you're going to be our first one. I got a comment, too where somebody said, eventually I will realize that it's time to sell water for a hundred dollars. You what? Y'all think somebody would actually be dumb enough to buy water for like a hundred dollars, man? He couldn't find what he was looking for? Oh, he was looking for mixed pizza? Couldn't find pizza mix? Yo, like, bro, we're not going to have everything you want, ma'am. And whoever else, sir, we just expanded the inventory. You know, you could have bought something. But you know what? If you want to starve, that's on you. Bro, can't find the chicken. You can't find the chicken. Maybe I expanded too early, bro. Is my store about to fail? Is my? It, it feels like they don't even want the regular stuff anymore. Bro, why is something flying in my face? Oh, I didn't adjust the price. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Um, uh, $7, $7, $7. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We changed the price right, right as she was picking it up. Now, what if we can finesse somebody when they go to buy water? By like adjusting the price as they're grabbing it. Now might be my chance. Now might be my chance. Why? <gasps> Water is too expensive. Dang it! <laughs> I tried to scale. I tried to scale. Hundred dollar water is insane, ma'am. You don't know that this is like the best water on the market. This was like, this was a holy water gifted from the heavens bro this this water has been infused with the sweat of jesus <laughs> <laughs> nobody can find what they're looking for i might have screwed up bro i might have expanded too far a little bit too soon cereal's too expensive no it's already like 1 p.m and we haven't barely made anything okay like like five dollars five dollars bro please tell me i don't lose my store Please tell me I don't even lose. I don't know what happens if you don't have enough money to play the bank. We need to get this this money coming in faster. Please shop at Triple E Groceries, please. We're, we're selling a bunch of salmon. We have some new meat in the inventory if you're interested. Hey, you ever heard of Honeybee cereal? We sell that. Step right on in, man. We got everything you could possibly look for, but not really. Bro, why are y'all so picky? I didn't even have time to buy everything. This is the worst day of running this supermarket yet. It's so funny, like I, I really thought that I was getting over, but I, I guess I wasn't. I guess I wasn't, I done screwed myself up. Ma'am, 
Ma'am. What are you? Please tell me. Buy some salmon. Buy some salmon. Scallops is too expensive. Uh, $6.99. $6.90. No, slower this down. $15. $15 for salmon. It's about to start getting dark and we barely made anything. Everybody is saying everything is too expensive, bruh. $5. Please take it. Take it. Please buy some. Buy some, man. Bro, these customers, they're evolving. They're starting to get smarter. <laughs> we at least got $5.70. Our business, like it, it barely is just keeping the head over the water. I'm stalking customers to make sure that they're buying product. <laughs> I just need y'all check them out fast. We got to We got to go ahead and make space, man. Nah, I don't really feel hey, like Hey, it. man, look. You need to hurry up. If you keep taking your sweet time, I'm going to dock your pay. Philip, make sure you're moving, man. Work those legs. Thank you. We're getting closer to like $1,000 now. We got some good customers. My boy is back in here. If y'all don't remember him from the last episode, he waited. See, like, I got to shout you out, bro. Thank you for shopping at Tripoli Groceries. He waited until we stocked up what he was looking for and then bought it, man. Like, he's such a real one. He's such a... You're the number one paying customer. I don't know if that's a flex in this store, uh, considering our prices, but... <laughs> Please tell me the loans ain't about to drain the account. Please don't drain the account. Please don't drain the account. Don't drain it. Don't drain it. We're good. We're good. Yes, yes, yes. We're good. We're good. We're good. We still have like $528. So a lot of people, when they came in here, somebody wanted French fries. Somebody wanted that mixed pizza. Who else? What, what else do they want? Somebody did want chicken as well. <laughs> Let's get like four things of chicken. Chicken will sell. One thing about chicken. I know it will sell. Shoot. We can get a little potato bag too. Let's order all that. That's like $389. Pretty sure I saw somebody looking for that Mount Mausaka, Musaka. I, I ain't never heard of that in my life. I, I don't even know what it is. Yeah, yeah. We got to stock all this up, man. We got got package in the... Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. No, please don't run over my stuff. Please don't. Oh, this is what the freezer was for. Okay, the, the little pizzas and stuff. Oh, that's fire. You get so much pizza. It's not even funny. You get like a lot of pizza to sell. All right, so considering that we have this much stock... Check me out. We sell this thing for like $8.99, bruh. That's reasonable. I bought a few pizzas in my day for $8.99. I'm trying to like give my store realistic prices, you know? We gotta turn a profit one way or another. Let's load in some of this chicken. That's like a whole hen. Hey, how much can we tax on that? How much y'all think we can sell some chicken for? If I ain't mistaken, chicken ain't really even that expensive. Let me put y'all on game, bro. Anything that's not really healthy for you, they're going to make it cheaper in the store. Anything that is healthy, it'll be like more expensive. This is like 932, right? So, but yeah, I, I think chicken definitely has some some things in it that's not exactly good for you, but you know me, I'm going to still eat it. Let's run that joint for like 12.99, bro. Where do I load potatoes at? Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. we're going to put potatoes on like the bottom shelf. We only get like four of them in a bag. How much potatoes are we talking? That inventory is going to run out so quick. $7. <laughs> Somebody had to be rolling in the comments. They was like, yo, if I see any store that has the name Mikey attached to it, I'm running. <laughs> you better run before I run in your wallet. Nah, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Look, 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 if I actually had a store in real life, I would make it affordable because that's the main thing. Like whenever I drop merch, I promise y'all it ain't going to be priced like this, bro. Y'all, I'm so proud of this store. I can't wait to edit this video and get this out to y'all. <laughs> like, I actually can't wait. It's so interesting. One thing that I noticed about myself, I enjoy being able to like pour my time into a game and then see things progress and like really do better you know it's like it's so satisfying let's open this door let's get to a bag people let's get that money y'all ready are you ready i'm gonna need some more excitement from my workers it should be an honor to work at triple e groceries you know i'm paying you better because the store let me stop lying <laughs> anyway i'm gonna move some of this back here oh yeah they cleaned out these sodas it seems like they like this i, I guess this is like 
supermarket simulators equivalent to to sprite or some of that nature oh yeah we got customers already hopefully the prices are to y'all's liking i adjusted it just a little bit just, just a little, oh no somebody already don't like the price hello i need to be able to observe you were probably the one complaining right yeah yeah you look like a karen i bet you had something to say you couldn't find steak okay so good the chicken's too expensive fiddlesticks 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 bro what you know what ten dollars ten dollars man I, I lowered the price just for you like like go ahead and walk back over there for me walk back over there for me a matter of fact while we at it if you're looking for a job we're hiring too no potatoes is too hey let me let me hook you up let me hook you up five five dollars and thirty cents come on now come on now man see he bought the chicken okay maybe she was just being like a little a little um a little a little a little difficult but for sure absolutely for sure we need some butter we need some butter butter is a must bro i don't even have any space for butter it needs to be placed in the fridge why did i even try to place it like outside on the shelf that was just so stupid on my part they give us a lot of butter to buy can i price it first sir golly um three dollars <laughs> i couldn't even price it and they already snagged it off the shelf man all right uh, customers are lining up customers are lining up we're moving product yeah! ain't it too hot to be wearing a sweater like this man i know you just sweating let me let me get away from you before you Go ahead and get out my store before you start dropping sweat of puddles on the floor, bro. I know you hot. We ain't buying nothing else, bro. We ain't buying nothing else. Not until tomorrow. To be honest, I've even seen steaks go for like $17.99 in the stores, bro. Like, steak is not cheap. I really feel like I could expand the price even at least a little bit. I'm, I'm gonna stop being greedy. I'm gonna stop being greedy. Value the customer, value the customer. All right, he's, he's coping with like $15. I just saw him scoop up that steak. Where is uh where is Philip at? Philip Get your ass back here, boy! Why do I feel like this pizza isn't moving? Ugh, that's not even that's like mixed vegetable pizza. Do y'all mess with mixed vegetable pizza? I ain't gonna lie, I do not be wanting olives and and bell peppers and all that extra stuff on my pizza, bruh. Give me some pepperoni, maybe some sausage, some bacon. Uh, cheese, obviously. Mmm, sauce. I could even live without sauce, bruh. I could honestly live without sauce. Uh, but I, I could, I could still appreciate sauce. Like, who eats pizza with no sauce? You know, I, I'm, I'm not crazy. Uh, just, <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, do we need some more of this milk? The milk is kind of moving. We can definitely afford to get by like four of these things. Yeah, yeah, we finna load up this shelf back here. They couldn't find sushi large. They really looking for this sushi. Okay. You know who has some really good sushi, bruh? Um, rock and roll sushi. They sushi is pretty fire. They have this um, roll over there that's called the, the Thriller. Man, man, man. Just talking about it makes me want some more. You know, at one point I was dedicated to never eat sushi because I didn't want raw sushi but I wasn't educated. See, this is why it's important to educate yourself. See, sushi can actually be cooked, bro. I'm sure most of y'all know that, but I'm sure someone somewhere out of the thousands of people that watch this probably didn't know. But yeah, yeah, yeah. See, if you didn't know, don't even feel ashamed, bro. Just make yourself be known in the comments. It's okay if someone roasts you, I'll ban them. Now, let me stop lying. I ain't really gonna ban them. It's too expensive. Maybe you're just too cheap. Maybe you're just not worth anything. Dang. You ever thought of that? Speaking of cheap, that tattoo looks real cheap on you. Why is it so low on you? Look like you got your... How low does this tattoo even extend? Y'all, she might have got the whole tattooed, bro. That's crazy work. <laughs> All right, man. That's a pretty successful day of work. We about to have like about $400 to work with. Oh, nah. We got to do better than this. <laughs> and you know what's so wild? All I'm doing is pricing things about how it's priced in real life said that while accidentally entering in 1377 dollars for steak but look all i'm doing is pricing things like it is in real life like 
pizzas really be going for about nine dollars that's just inflation in the u.s bro but you know what maybe just not everybody sees the vision of pointlessly pouring out the money in their wallet maybe i'm crazy maybe i'm doing a little bit too much why does this meat cost like 317 dollars sheesh bro did that say veal veal chops bro that just looks like lamb chops which lamb chops are so good, by the way. $16 for this, bro, because that was even more expensive than that steak. Oh, yeah, I know she's spending a lot. Ooh. Ooh, she broke $100. Let's go. I knew starting to sell meat would make people spend like $100 plus dollars in the grocery store. It's just like real life. Mm, look at that. She got like two of them. Ah, oh, yes, sir. $54. Hey, we made just like a, we made a band today. We turned a positive profit today. What a blessing. <gasps> we can hire another restarker. Yes. Thank you. Let's open up shop. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it's like a lot of them. I need to hurry up and price this because they were looking for that 25. Oh, oh man. $30. Yo, yo, you feel like spending $30. People are actually willing to pay like $30. How much are you spending? How much are you spending right now? Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Hey. Yo. Yo. Hey. We spent like $128. Gosh. Is it only because he has a good job that he's willing to buy? Sushi will not be off the show. Buy, buy that sushi, buy that sushi, buy that sushi. Dang, you won't buy the sushi, bro. Hey, you, hey, look, look, look. We got this sushi right here, seasoned to perfection. It has seaweed, cucumber, crab, a little bit of shrimp. Um, she's buying, she's buying it. Okay, so thirty dollars actually isn't bad. Oh, business is booming. Look at the line right now. Tracks. Look at the line. Hey, hurry up, hurry up. Get this line taken care of, man. Time is money. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We making big guap today. We making big guap. The meat business is so like beneficial. The meat business is booming. Like I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Selling this meat is gonna make me a millionaire. What? Pause. Like look at what they're checking out with. All I see is dollar bills, bro. All I see is cha-ching, cha-ching, more green, more green. That's all, bro. I, I think I'm just now noticing how many people really see meat as like a must have in their dinner. Oh, you got chicken? Yeah, this is fire. This is fire. That's like almost 1,500. Heck yeah, bro. Is that a cleaned out store? We good? We good. That was a good job, people. Good job. Good job. You know what they should add to supermarket simulator, man? To start your own supermarket and then not only just do that, but to also turn it into like now you're living good because you started your supermarket. Like you feel what I'm saying? You get a nice house, maybe even start a family. It's starting to sound like I need to just play The Sims. <laughs> If this is what I want to do, you know, this this ain't what all this game was um made to give you. You're just going to run the supermarket and, and that's it. We sleep in the back with all the boxes and stuff. We don't even have a house. Hopefully our employees do. That would suck if they didn't. Especially with all these long hours they put in. We work from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. That is actually crazy when you think about it that's that's like a, a wild schedule um i know i want to start selling cleaning supplies too soon maybe we could save that for like a future video it feels like we keep doing this in about every video on this game we price things too high because we're trolling and then sooner or later we end up finding where people would actually pay and then like the store runs fine like look how much product we're moving I can tell she got a whole family to feed, like three salmons, two steaks, three steaks actually, and cereal. I see you, bro. Go ahead and buy in bulk. How much money is that? $90? Why does it feel like she just got a steal, bro? Hold on. Maybe the prices are too cheap. Okay, you know what? 
That's about right. Oh, you know what? You know why it feels like they're getting stuff for cheap? They don't have to pay taxes in Supermarket Simulator. Yeah, yeah. Which taxes freaking suck, bro. I'll say all day long, taxes is just legal robbery. That's all taxes are, bro. It's like, yeah, you're in our country, so we have the right to taking your money away. Is there any country that doesn't have taxes? My fault, y'all. I know I'm yapping right now, but sometimes we need a little yap session. I don't even remember how much money I started with, but I know we just made a lot. It feels like everybody is coming in here just about breaking a hundred dollars. This is beautiful, man. What's the profit? Okay, it's a respectable profit. Well, y'all, that will just about do it for this video. Things are looking up. Uh, before I record again, I'm gonna figure out what to fill these shelves up with and make an overall plan. Y'all can let me know too, what y'all are interested in seeing in this game. Uh, but yeah, man, this has been Supermarket Simulator Part 3. I'm loving this. But hopefully y'all are too. And if you did, make sure to like the video. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. Make sure to take care of yourselves. And I will indeed catch on the next one, bros. Peace.